Welcome once again to Tag Talks from the Atchison Group, Tag. I am your host, Lisa Lupo, and today I'm talking about workplace respiratory illnesses with Tag founder and CEO, Dr. David Atchison. Good afternoon, David. Hello, Lisa. Good to be with you again. You too. So many respiratory illnesses, such as the flu, had spread at historically low levels during the pandemic, likely due to COVID precautionary measures. However, we are now seeing a rebounding of these, and we expect further increases this fall. So what can businesses do to help aid and encourage employee wellness? Great question, Lisa. And I think um, it's a very timely topic as we talk about respiratory infections. And really what we're talking about is the spread of infectious agents, which are typically viruses, colds and flu, and obviously COVID through respiratory droplets and, and close contact. Almost all businesses have learned a lot about respiratory borne transmission as part of COVID. And the flu is no different. And as you point out, we had a historically low flu season last year. And I think that was largely due to the fact that so many people were taking precautions. And for all of these respiratory born, let's call them viruses or, or microbes, the fundamental lessons that we've learned with COVID apply. First of all, education is important. Having employees understand what are we talking about, the types of bugs that we're talking about and the kinds of diseases that, that they can cause. Number two, how do we prevent them? And it falls back on the basic types of preventive strategies we've used around COVID beyond education. If you don't feel well, stay home until you can figure out what it is. If, you, if you've been in contact with somebody who's got these, then be aware and be careful in terms of, of development of symptoms. For many of these, washing hands is really critical. And if you can't wash your hands, sanitizers, particularly those with 70% of alcohol in them work very effectively. So contact surfacing, washing hands is, is, is also key. These viruses spread through respiratory droplets directly between people. So once again, we're back to the social distancing as being as a part as a part of control and not touching your your eyes, your nose and your mouth. Um, so if you if you need to scratch your nose, wash your hands first or sanitize your hands or whatever, wh whatever you can do to, to reduce the risk. Um, and then. Obviously, we've had uh, vaccines around for flu for a very long time, so that's an, imp that's an important part of preventive strategy, and, and many have held vaccine clinics in facilities for years to help facilitate workers getting vaccinated against influenza, and, and they've been doing the same with COVID. So really, it's, it's, the, it's the same fundamental principles of trying to reduce transmission. Um, and I think the final point that I would make, Lisa, is arming your workforce with the right knowledge is really important. Um, okay. And I think as a culture, we like to tough it out. Oh, I don't feel too good. I think I might have a cold, I've got flu, but I'm gonna go to work anyway, cause I'm, right. I'm tough. Um, we all do it, we've all done it. And frankly, we've learned that is absolutely the wrong thing to do. Um, use Zoom, use Teams, use something else, get on the phone, but, but, but don't spread it around. Okay. So how does TAG help? What kind of assistance does TAG provide in this area? A lot of what we've done, Lisa, is, is in the education mode, helping companies understand what's the message, what are the, what are the key points that need to be transmitted to, to employees. And it's not just employees, but also the leadership. What does the leadership need to do? How do they prepare? Um, and I think many of the companies we've been working with recently have sort of said, okay, what's going to happen next? How do we stay out in front of the next pandemic? What should, what should we do to, to, to prepare for that? So TAG has done a lot around helping companies start to plan um, in terms of just being aware what, what, what might come, come down the line because we are monitoring many of these things on a regular basis and, and can provide um, current, useful, actionable information to companies. All right, well, thank you, David. You're welcome, thank you, good topic. Yes. <laughs> And thank you, viewers. We hope that today's Tag Talks discussion has provided you with more understanding of respiratory illnesses, including COVID and the flu, and the potential impacts that they can have on your business, as well as what you can do to reduce these. So you can view more Tag Talks on the Etchison Group YouTube page, 
www.youtube.com slash The Atchison Group, all one word. And be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things food safety and public health from TAG experts.